Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out this Zach Myers Paul Reed Smith SE Signature Series Guitar. I'm really excited about this one and you're not going to want to miss it, so let's get started. And here we go. I want to show you guys this beautiful guitar. Beautiful Trampus Green finish. Semi hollow body. Sanded neck, which feels like satin to me. It is just a work of art and it is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to start with the specs of this guitar and I'm also going to give you a few first impressions from the playing that I did on this guitar. Uh, up top, starting at the tuning keys, you have PRS design, vintage style tuners. Uh, they, they, they keep tuned fine, there's, there's no problem with them. Uh, and also right down here, you have a PPS plastic nut. Now it is a plastic nut, but it's cut very well and there's no problems with tuning, so I don't see that being any kind of issue. And as a matter of fact, some of the lower end USA made PRS guitars actually use this same nut. So I don't see a problem with it. Now, moving up to the fretboard, we have 22 medium jumbo frets, and they're really nice frets. Uh, they're real nice and smooth. Now, this is a 2016 guitar, um, so it is a little bit worn in, but I suspect these frets were really nice uh, whenever this guitar was new also. You also have a pretty good thick slab of rosewood on your fretboard. And on the back of this neck, you can see, you might be able to pick it up on the camera, I'm not sure, but this has been sanded down. This is like, a, this is a sanded neck. Now on the top here you have gloss, and on the body you have gloss, but the back of this neck is really nicely sanded. It almost feels like the satin finish on some of the other guitars that I've felt, and it is just really, really nice. Now this is uh, described as a wide, fat neck but it's, it's really comfortable. It's not, it's not too big. Even though I have great big hands, uh, I don't like a, just a really huge neck, and this one fits me perfect. I don't think anybody would have any problem with picking this up and this being very comfortable for you, so I don't see that being a problem. Now, this is a 10-inch radius uh, on the neck as well, or on the fretboard as well, and you have a 24.5 scale length, uh, so it is a little bit shorter than your Gibson Les Paul. And you can actually feel that whenever you get up on these higher frets and you're playing, uh, it tends to get a little bit crowded, especially if you have big hands like me. Okay, so moving down to the body area. Here we have a set neck, which is beautifully done, and it, I, I, don't, I don't see flaws in it or anything like that. It's really nicely done. Uh, these pickups are PRS Design 245 pickups. The top is a two-piece, figured maple top and this beautiful trampus green it's just it's just gorgeous uh, of course our f hole because it is a semi hollow body um, we have the prs adjustable tailpiece with the brass saddles which and intonation is no problem this thing is ab absolutely dead on perfect no problem you have your three-way toggle and you have your clear volume and tone pots now this this these volumes and tones, there's there's no coil splitting or anything like that. It's just it's just your straight volumes and your tones. Now, when I turn this around to the back, you can see, or I don't know if it picks it up, but I can clearly see this is a three-piece mahogany body. Now, when we take off the cover to our controls, we can see that there are full-size quality alpha pots. Now when we hung this on our scale, we can see that it comes in at a very reasonable 6.8 pounds. So that's gonna do it for our first impressions and for our specs review. Now let's plug this thing up and let's see what it's got.
So there you have it. Now here's my verdict on this guitar. I'm going to start out with the one negative about this guitar because it's actually a really big deal. This guitar must have a treble bleed circuit modification done to it. Now what that does is that allows the guitar, when I turn the volume down, it'll, it allows the guitar to keep the high end and the treble in the sound of the guitar. Because as it is right now, when I turn that down, when I try to turn the volume down, it loses all the top end and it just turns into a dark, kind of murky, muddy mess. And why is that really important on a guitar like this? Because this guitar has really hot pickups and it's really mid-range heavy. So when I go into a clean sound, I, I like to back that. I like to back that volume off a little bit, just to take a little bit off, just a little edge off of it. And whenever I'm in a, di a distortion or an overdrive situation, I like to be able to back that volume down and clean the guitar up. And as it stands right now, you can't do that at all. Now here's the good news: it is a very cheap and a very easy modification to do to your guitar. Part-wise, you're probably looking at less than $20. And then you might have to, if you can't do it yourself, you'll have to get somebody to do the work for you. But it's a very simple modification, and I think that it's going to make all the difference in the world to this guitar. Okay, so that one issue aside, this is my favorite Paul Reed Smith guitar that I've ever played. And that includes the core models that I personally own myself. It's very lightweight. It has super snappy mid-range. And actually, it, it even made, it kind of made my PV Classic 50, it made it sound almost like a Marshall because it, it puts so much mid-range into the sound. It has really good note clarity. Uh, you can hear every note ring out, even when under, under heavy distortion. And, and I love that in a guitar. If you have your amp EQ set up for your Stratocasters and your Telecasters, you will definitely have to make some changes to accommodate this guitar. Currently at Sweetwater Music, this guitar sells for $850, and it comes with a really nice padded gig bag. And this is one of those guitars that really makes me question why. Why do I pay $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 for a high-end guitar when you get this guitar for $850? Just doesn't make sense. So what did you guys think about the guitar? Or do you already own the guitar? Drop us a comment down below and tell us what you think. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you again real soon in the Guitar Cranny.